as I mentioned uh, months before I'm gonna talk about how to export uh, a sketch a sketch up file to Photoshop there's two ways to do it um, if you have I'm gonna show you how to do it if you have Photoshop CS3 extended version if you don't have CS3 extended version then I'm gonna show you the other option I will try to do this in 10 minutes if not I'm gonna break this video in a several uh, series of videos so stay tuned okay first of all I got the original file that we create the last month if you don't see last month or the previous newsletter just subscribe and or go to the newsletter web page so you can see it how how to build this mock uh, now I'm gonna export this file you go you go to file export 3d model select we where you going to export it I'm gonna select graphic projects tutorials folder okay I'm gonna create tutorial mock and if you have Photoshop CS3 the the latest version that that CS3 ex accept uh, as a 3d model for for SketchUp is Google Elf 4 you have another uh, option here Google Earth that's gonna save it in Google Earth 6 and Photoshop does not support it so select Google Earth 4 dot KMT okay and export start exporting and that's it that's all you need to do with the SketchUp now we're going to Photoshop in Photoshop we open a new document is 600 by 600 pixels and I'm gonna I'm going here to the layer in the file menu layer you're gonna see an option that says 3d layers new layer from 3d file select that we're going to select the tutorial mug that I have I save it as a tutorial mug and open it and it will try to renderize as you see it bring the the file we're going to double click on the layer and it's gonna bring uh, the 3d 3d uh, menu where you can uh, you get you can manipulate the 3d file if you want to move it just select this option and, and just move it where you want it if you want to change the orbit select this option and you can change the view as you see it you can manipulate as you like uh, the, the 3d file okay this is the way that you can export a 3d image from a SketchUp to Photoshop next I'm gonna show you how to do it in other Photoshop version not the CS3 extended stay tuned